Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. In this video tutorial we are going to cover the creation of a brick texture using the default textures in UT 2004. This is important because for Unreal Tournament 2004 we did not get any Shane Church, Nally Castle, any of these kind of ancient gothic textures. So in an effort to help aspiring texture artists to create their own, maybe to unlock some doors here I'm going to show what I've learned here recently and I don't know how good the method is and there's probably a lot of better ways to do it but I think that it'll allow you to have a little more options when you are looking for just that perfect you know castle wall kind of texture anyhow in my uh, Unreal Tournament 2004 folder for my newest map that I'm currently making I have in here a whole bunch of textures that I've extracted. Basically you need one rough texture for your bricks and one sandy kind of texture for your grout. You should start opening and adding layers to the sandy texture that you're going to use for your grout. In our case we're going to take this texture here which is 512 by 512. You want both your textures to be the same size and we're going to put it in here and then we're going to create a new layer doesn't matter what you call it into this layer we're going to put the texture that we want to use for our stone wall for our you know our uh, our bricks so in this case I'm just going to do something really wild and grab this one here Alright, now you need to copy this, close it up, and edit paste it into here. Go to your background texture, and you always want this to be a little darker, unless of course, well I should rephrase this, you want it to be darker if your bricks are lighter, and you want it to be lighter if your bricks are darker. It depends on what you are doing with your bricks. And our case here we want it to be darker because our bricks are going to be a little lighter so in brightness and contrast we're turning this down to say 50 I'm actually going to venture down to 75 because as you noticed it was a pretty bright texture and we'll take a look here in a minute and see what we got and uh, I added that from this dialogue here as you just saw it's kind of hard to track my mouse right now the way things are set up Okay, so we want to turn off the eyeball on that. Yeah, okay, that should work pretty good. May not match very well, but we'll try. And then if you want to play around with the fill, you can blend things up a little bit. So you can turn this down to, say, 75. Or if you're really adventurous, it'll go down to 50. And you'll see that some of the stuff will bleed through. I think I'll try 50 for this. Just for the heck of it. All right, so... What we have to do now is to sketch out the pattern that we want for our bricks. And there are a couple of ways to do this. I prefer going on the grid. So I go ahead on here to Preferences and Grids and Guides. And I have come up with a color that I think will allow me to see through this. It's black, but that doesn't always work. I have a grid line every 128 pixels. I have it set to 16 subdivisions. That kind of basically matches it up to like units in Unreal uh, Ed. But you can change this around or even not even work on the grid if you want. If you're really adventurous and just want to sketch out some hand-drawn bricks, go for it. You know, this, this is going to look a little regular and kind of modern. And that isn't really the appearance you want for an ancient brick, but it's the best that I can do right now. Um, that is, so to see the grid, you need to go up here to View and Show and Grid. And, well, I was wrong. We can't see it very well. <laughs> but uh, anyway, there it is. I'm going to go ahead really quick and just change this on the fly so that we can see what we're doing. Well, it was working. That's all I can say now. Yeah, you don't want to get, you know, too light because that just over overwhelms the whole thing. It's, it's really annoying, but this is okay for now. Uh, what we want to do in this is decide on how big we want our bricks to be, and I'm thinking 128 is pretty good, so... What we need to do is add to this a vector mask, which is right here. 
and then alt press and hold the alt key and then click into that and of course now I've got to change my grid again oh, it wasn't I'm not prepared for this doing this very well at all but I'm trying here anyway so we put back to black so now I can see what we're doing uh, we got a brush here uh, this is a thickness a brush thickness of eight uh, a stair step uh, one of the one of the highest heights you can have common heights for a stair step in U2004 and Unreal Tournament I believe also I think it's a little higher in U2004 now but it's 16 so you can imagine that 16 is a pretty pretty big area for grout and you want to probably stick with 8 and uh, maybe not much higher than 12 you just gotta be adventuresome and see what you like but from my experience so far 8 has been pretty good all you have to do is click first hold shift and then you can drag right along the line. Click, hold shift, click, hold shift, do it at the bottom, click, hold shift, do it at the top, click, hold shift, and then just do your pattern. So in this case, I'm going to start here, click, shift. You only want to seal off the edges of the bricks that aren't tiling to the next side. So in this case up here, I would leave those edges open. And if you mess up, just go to add step back where I think control Z is supposed to also work. Okay, so you just press uh, control Z or just go to edit and undo if you screw up and just finish up your pattern click shift do the edges only the ones that are closed up and we're just about finished okay now you want to turn your grid off you might, if you're curious, um, take a look at this and see if it's going to tile, but because you already thought ahead, thanks to my wonderful training, um, should be all right. So let's see, filter, other, offset, it should be half of what you're doing. Go to 256, looks pretty good, so we just do it again, it should set it back. Okay, so I saw one that wasn't quite attached, but I don't see it now. Since I'm going to be picky, I'm going to take a look at it and try and find that thing again. There it is. Because you're not on the grid, it's a little harder to stay on the lines here. Okay. Alright, so now that you're done with that, if you go and click on this here, you'll see that your grout is already showing through the texture. Doesn't look like the best set of bricks that you've ever seen in your life, I'm sure, but it's getting there. Then you want to double click on this and you need to uncheck this box here, this transparency shapes layer. I don't know exactly why, but you just have to do that. You want to add a bevel. You want to go to drop shadow and inner shadow. In bevel, you want to probably do either a hard or soft chisel and this should be changed to overlay okay we'll go through those options again this is what blending options should look like this is what drop shadow options should look like this is what inner shadow options should look like this is what bevel and emboss options should look like and I'm not even going to play around with, with the different features here. I am going to increase the depth on this to 400%. Seems to make a much nicer looking depth to the brick. And now if you take a look at it, you see that you have a brick wall. Uh, and if you take and import this into Unreal Ed, first you want to save it. You always want to keep a library of your textures. So come up with some name, in my case, I'm going to call it something like this. Um, 
always keep a library of those PSD tags which you can go back and change things later on if you wish to. Then if you go here you can go to flatten image that puts everything in one image. You can go to file, save as, and if you hold your breath you can do it as a DDS. No alpha. Takes a second. Go into Unreal Ed. File. Import. And find your texture that you just did, which is right here. In my case. And none. And you don't want to generate maps because it's already generated for you with this tool. And let's just whip out a big old room. And see what our texture looks like. And there you have it. I will place a player start inside and we'll take a look at it inside the game and you'll see that it shouldn't look too bad. May not be Horns' quality, but uh, until he does a tutorial and shows us how he does his wonderful stuff, this is the best that I've been able to come up with. Alrighty then. I'm just doing a quadratic, non incidence light, changing the radius so it fills up the room. Just want to be able to see what it looks like. There's one last thing we'll go over after we get in here and take a look at it. And hopefully my recording will not screw up once I get into the game because it does that sometimes. Got to find all these maps that aren't loading correctly. And soon we will be in here. Yeah, those are some big bricks. But if you look up underneath, you notice that they have a three dimensionality to them and they're popping out like they're supposed to. So playing with those settings will give you even better effects. You will also notice that the tiling is perfect. You won't see any issues at all with the tiling. Alright, the very last thing you might want to do is add a detail texture to this. And this is something I just recently learned about. If you go into UCG Generic, I don't know why I call it UCG Generic, it's just UC Generic, go to Detail Textures, you can find a texture that basically when you're up close to it you can notice it in, in, the, in the brick surface. I use this because it's a nice rough texture. So we put that in there, and then do that, and then file, save as, we'll just call it some random thing. And build. Now when we get in there and look up close on the texture, you'll notice it looks a little rougher. And there's a little more fine detail to it up close. And you wouldn't have seen that before without the detail texture. And you'll notice that, uh, this is how I learned it, Horns has adds these to all of his textures. He has a detail texture of some kind, and all of the Epic has detail, yeah. You can see right now it's already, already looks a lot rougher. Just looks a lot better now. It looks a lot more ancient, like it's supposed to. Yeah, it doesn't look bad when you get up close to it either. You don't lose any detail. Alright, well that concludes this tutorial. I hope that you use this to make some good gothic texture packs for you 2004.